From the National Weather Service in Pocatello, this is the Southeast Idaho Weather Hazard Briefing for Thursday, September 22nd. Some of the key points for the forecast over the next few days, uh, focused mainly on today, it's going to be pretty breezy across much of the Snake River Plain, and uh, we do have a lake wind advisory in effect for American Falls Reservoir. Also, we're looking at wind advisory conditions with uh, some strong winds up there in the Arco Desert, INL Craters of the Moon. Uh, we're not yet done with showers and thunderstorms, although some of those have already moved out of the uh, out of this area. Uh, we should start to see those redevelop later this morning and through the afternoon, uh, but those should be tapering off as we uh, get past sunset tonight. The uh, forecast for the next few days, uh, we do have a drying trend and a warming trend coming through the next week. We should see highs back in the 80s uh, as we get into the early to mid part of next week. So let's take a look at our weather satellite satellite this morning. Upper low that was off the coast of California yesterday has now moved into uh, central Oregon and that is going to continue to move east or northeastward across northern Idaho and into western Montana throughout the day. And as you can see, a lot of those clouds have already cleared out of Idaho, some still lingering up around Island Park. Uh, however, we're not quite done with the rain showers and the uh, thunderstorms, so those are going to redevelop, and some of the stuff out here is going to kind of move across throughout the day today. So still looking at uh, pretty good rainfall potential up in the Island Park area, and I'll show you that here in just a little bit. But first, uh, we'll kind of take a look at the uh, outlook. Uh, once again, windy conditions in the Magic Valley, Snake River Plain, and uh, elsewhere, we do expect those showers and thunderstorms to uh, uh, resume later on today. Uh, rest of the forecast area, just a little bit breezy. Uh, and then for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, high pressure is going to move back in. We're going to start to see some nicer, more pleasant weather. And here's a look at our rainfall totals ending at 3 a.m. this morning. For the past 24 hours, we had at about 0.7 to 0.8 inches of uh, rainfall uh, occur uh, mainly east along and east of Interstate 15. Uh, Rexbury had 0.71. Idaho Falls had just a little over three quarters of an inch and just a little over half inch here in Pocatello. Uh, elsewhere uh, further down the plain Burley and Craters of the Moon had about a tenth to uh, a hundredth of an inch to a tenth of an inch out there. So uh, most of your heavier rainfall occurred uh, just over the uh, eastern parts of Idaho. It was also pretty active on the lightning front yesterday. So uh, a lot of lightning down south of Pocatello, south and southwest of Pocatello, but uh, still had quite a bit there in the St. Plain. Uh, in all, yesterday, the last 24 hours, over 2,000 lightning strikes. All right, our weather map for this morning, cold front uh, moved off into western Wyoming and Montana. So we're going to start to see a little bit of clearing behind that. But uh, again, we're not quite done with the precipitation. Uh, there is still some showers and thunderstorms forecast uh, for the eastern highlands and up in the upper Snake Highlands uh, and also some rain and maybe some high elevation snow up there in the Central Mountains uh, for the rest of today. Just how much rainfall are we looking at for the rest of today? Well, uh, Island Park maybe getting another three quarters of an inch uh, with the rest of with a lingering shower activity throughout the day. Uh, down here in Blackfoot, maybe about a uh, eleven hundredths of an inch. Uh, Pocatello just under a tenth of an inch here. So a little bit uh, more precipitation occurring up in the higher uh, Upper Snake Plain, uh, Upper Snake Highlands up there. Uh, also on the right, uh, we are looking at uh, some uh, marginal risk of excessive rainfall up in that same area. Uh, if you remember yesterday, that area was highlighted with a slight risk. So it is a little bit reduced today, but still looking at uh, some pretty good amount of precipitation up there. So if you see any flooding, be sure not to drive in it. Turn around, don't drown. And a quick look at our temperatures for today. Much uh, cooler than it was yesterday. In fact, we're going to have a have a hard time getting up into the 70s. 
In fact, uh, all of southeast Idaho is expected to be less than 70. Uh, Pocatello will be about 66 today. Idaho Falls, 63. And down in Burley, about uh, 65. So uh, a lot of areas here in the 60s and uh, upper 50s. Wind gusts today are going to be a uh, concern, especially in the INL Arco Desert area. We do have a wind advisory up in that region. And the strong winds across the American Falls Reservoir, there is a lake wind advisory up uh, across that uh, across the reservoir there so those both of those advisories in effect from noon until 8 p.m. tonight and by tomorrow high pressure is back in control all that weather has moved off to the east we'll start to see warming and drying conditions starting tomorrow and through the weekend in fact through next week our temperature outlook looking above normal and our precipitation outlook looking uh, slightly below normal however there is a little bit of uh, near normal conditions expected down over Utah Nevada and this extreme southern portions of Idaho there so that's your uh, forecasts uh, in summary we got windy conditions today showers and thunderstorms should be coming in to an end around sunset tonight and throughout the extended periods for next week warm and dry conditions so enjoy that while you can that's going to do it for today's briefing and if you have any questions give us a call send us an email or hit us up on social media thanks for watching